Hello and welcome to Elijah Joe's Partial. We have been on creating um, content on ArcGIS Pro. So today we'll be looking at the domain. So what's a domain? A domain is uh, a set of restrictions, a set of permissions, or a set of direction I can say given by the the author or the creator of it. So domain allows you to enter only data that allow it doesn't allow you to type, just allow you to choose from the list of the drop down box that is permitted for you. So today we'll be looking at that. And I have a set of data here where I have the river. I'm going to create that drop down list and then get right to it. So right click on the river and then you go to data design. And then you head to domain. So while on the domain, you see a box. So you type in your domain name. So this rivers, we've tested the the types of water, what kind of salty water, we they want to create this domain for the quality of the water. So uh, under description, I'll say water quality. And then the field type will be text. The domain type will be coded value domain. And then I'm going to hit here. So here we're going to put the code. What each of this code means. The first will be P, which under description we will say it is poor. So the water quality is poor. You click enter. So we have G. We have G. That means the water quality is good. And you enter, then we have D. E. The water quality is excellent. Enter, then we have A meaning it is acceptable. All right, so once this, uh, one, two, three, four, okay, do we have another one? Let's say, yeah. Let's say, what again, for, okay, let's say very good. So VG, we say good, very good. Very good. Okay, so, and then you click on this to cancel it and then you see. It's gonna apply all the changes. All right, so once that is applied, you right click again, and this time around you go to data design. On the data design, you go to fill. So we're going to add a new field. So this new field, we're going to name it water quality, water cube. So the, the data type will be, you double click and then you select text. Because that's the same thing you selected while you were at the domain. So also, you check this highlight button on under the water cube. Then on the domain now you double click on it and then you select water quality. Then this you put 20. Alright, so and then you save it. So let's go down to the attribute. Alright, so once you click on attribute here, and I have this selected here. So you can see one of the rivers selected over here. So if you check on the attribute under the water, you see null. So when you click on it, you see this drop down button. So this drop down, you select, okay, which type of this water from your field work, whether this one is poor, then you go to the next, Okay, apply, then you go to the next, and then you select whether this is good. 
And that's all you did. You do it for the rest. Now that's how you can create a drop down button from domain. And that's how it's been applied while using on the ArcGIS Pro. So the next video, but what's been including right here, the split under the domain. So stay tuned, or where.